Kenesha's senior, Elton Frazier. Kenesha's head coach, Tom Parada. And Kenesha's senior guard, Julius Coles. Coach, if you'd like to open up with a comment, and then we'll take questions from there. Well, obviously uh, another good basketball game between the two teams. I didn't think we played well enough, uh, well enough in the first half, and it, it seemed like we didn't start really, really hooping until you know uh, the second half got going. Uh, there was there was too many too many open looks for them. Um, they kind of were having their way with us a little bit, and we we finally woke up and started playing and getting the ball where it needed to get to. We had a couple of costly turnovers down uh, consecutively, and um, you know that 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 last play at the end. I don't know. I, I think there were a couple of blown assignments there. We were trying to switch every screen and get them to to throw it towards a corner and um, work for us uh, down at Ryder, and somehow, some way, it worked uh, for them this evening. So I don't think the game was lost on that point four seconds or in the last couple of minutes. It was it was lost early on when we didn't establish tempo and and do the things that we needed to do to win this basketball game. Tommy really can't fault Dahl in that, can he? I mean, that's. The no, I, action, I yeah, I mean he's in there to get a deflection or, or um, get a deflection or force them to throw it. Uh, same thing was was down at Ryder, and he did a great job, and he was trying to do the same job there. I I, I don't know, you know, who got screened. We were switching everything. Uh, they got separation somehow, and were able to throw the ball up, um, and, and that's something that we're you know we weren't supposed to allow ha to happen. But no, I, I don't I don't fault him, but uh, I don't fault that. Those guys in there because I, I I don't think that we played well enough. Uh, unfortunately, we had a we, we had a chance at it to go to overtime, but my God, we didn't we didn't do enough good things. We we needed to win this basketball game. Julius Nelton, can you talk about you know, the frustration of, of another loss here? I mean, you got, it was a you know pretty valiant comeback there. But you were right back right back in it, tied with six point two left. You know. Um. I guess I'll start. I mean, leading up to the game, we we knew like we haven't won here, and God knows how long. So we were really excited, and when it came down to those last seconds, I mean, I guess I can I'll take full responsibility for it because as the senior captain on the court, I'm supposed to make sure that everybody's everybody knows what's going on and communicating, and we stress that and harp on that in practice. To communicate with one another, and we didn't do it. Of course, that's the game. Uh, of course, it's a terrible way to lose, but we had a lot, a lot of mistakes during that game, so we can't just blame it on that one, that one possession. I mean, we let them get an early lead, which we should have been up, and we had to fight back. They made a great play too. I mean, that's what they, yeah. they, they, they made a great play. So it's not. Julius, like, when you uh, talk about, I'm sorry. When you talk about the communication gap there, what what is it that that happened there? Then? Well, at, in the huddle, coach said um, to switch everything, and I should have just brought everybody together and just made sure that everybody knew what was going on. And unfortunately, um, we did. We did. So, did, you get, did you get screened? Yes. I mean, I think the switch was there. There was just too much separation. I mean, I don't think the refs are going to call any any kind of foul if the ball's up in the air. So we just didn't. We were supposed to. We were supposed to body people, and we didn't. We, we simply didn't. That's why the ball. He was able to catch it, and and it was a catch and shoot opportunity that they had. And then you you know, you, you got Mariel in there thinking, acting on impulse, and trying to go up and block a shot, and it was it was goaltending. So. It's a team that likes to live from behind the arc. Yeah. Usually, were you surprised? At that, how determined they were to get it inside, and also the success they had on the yeah, they they shot well in the first half uh, from 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 two and from three, and you know we tried to s switch up some defenses, and I thought that was pretty effective to kind of get them a little stagnant um, and different things like that. But um, you know, uh, offensively we ne we needed to do uh, some pretty good things, and you know uh, we didn't do them for forty minutes. And I think uh, I think um, that's where the game was was lost. We just we were lucky to to get back into it and have a chance to send it to overtime. We just didn't finish the job, and on, if .4 seconds came and bit us right in the butt. Do you mean in, in the reverse sense? You guys should have tried to to get it inside more. I mean, yeah, that's I, a, you know at the end when you got in, especially yeah. when Julius was breaking them down. Exactly, that's, that's what we tried to. Do. You know, we we stressed that the last couple of days and not not settling for for long threes. We we talked about that. Uh, a lot, and once we started driving the basketball and, and being aggressive, I thought we were, 
I thought we weren't as aggressive as we could be, you know, uh, throughout the game. And when we started to do it, that's 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 how we can play. We got right back into the game. I told them, I told them, we're ne you're never going to be up enough points on this team, but you're never going to be down enough because you can always always fight back. That's just the way it is with with the two of us, and that's exactly what happened. We were up, they're up, we're up, they're up, and then right down it comes down to, uh, you know, six seconds left, and it's a tie basketball game. Uh, they had the last shot, and and they scored it, and, and we lost. Were you surprised to see point four seconds go back up on the clock? Yeah. Yeah, for, for the for the game, as good a game it was, I don't know. I don't know if that if Joe was arguing or, or not. I don't I don't think so. Uh, you know, but I would have liked that they ran. I, I was already in drawing up a, the first play for the for the first five minutes. So a little surprised, but again, that's you go to the monitor and it says point four, and that's what happened. We do we do our best defensively to try to negate that, and you know they they won up us. How much notice did you have before that? Because I didn't even realize that you guys were going back on the floor that they had put the time back in. Uh, yeah, well, as soon as they called us over, but we had already been in the huddle drawing up a, a drawing up a first offensive play for ourselves. And as soon as they called the coaches over, that's exactly what they said. So how much time did you have to go back when you were when you were trying to set up this defense on the point four? Was it ten yeah, seconds? Yeah, yeah. Seconds? I, you know what? That's that's a good question. And and right now I I don't even know, but it wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot. So you scramble and, you know, we say, okay, let's, let's go. We, we, we're just in this situation on Friday. We were just in this situation. And we had to defend twice. And we did. Uh, Tomas made a block down at Ryder, and they get the ball back because he blocked it out of bounds. Boom. We put Marielle in. They couldn't get the ball over the top of him. And we forced it to the side. And, you know, we won the game. Um, and so we, we went, because it just happened, we went right back to it because um, we were successful. And we tried to do it again. And, they scored. What did the officials say to you in the first half after they, they were looking at the elbows on the screen? On the monitor? I, I, I think, uh, you know, Joe was, Joe was uh, commenting that maybe he swung, the, he swung elbows and stuff like that. I, I just think the kid was going up in traffic and, and, and chinning the ball, as we call it. I don't think, I don't think anything, was, anything was swung, and it certainly wasn't intentional. It's just how the kid plays. He's a big, strong, physical kid. He goes up in traffic and gets rebounds, and you know, we teach him to chin it, to try to keep people away. Uh, had, he, had he swung and hit somebody, you know, that would have, obviously, it would have been grounds for um, whatever, disqualification, which it didn't happen because they, they went to the monitor, too. Yeah, so did the refs confirmed that they said that? Yeah. Yeah, there was no, he, he wasn't swinging, he wasn't trying to clear anybody out, but, you know, he's a strong physical kid, and I told him to keep doing what he's doing. So if this game isn't on TV, you're probably playing overtime again. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I, 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 think, I think the people there would have liked to see another five minutes. It was a good basketball game, and, you know, it's just like Joe said to me on the way out, you know, you don't want to lose like that. You never want to lose like that, but he's the winning coach saying that, too. You know, it's, it's easy to say, but it was... Again, it was a good college basketball game, but you know, we didn't win it, so we're we're, we're pissed off about it. Man, anything else, gentlemen? Thank you.